pretty one, Ulysses. There it is. Hello, Booktube. I'm Sean the Book Maniac. Welcome back to my channel. Well, holy smokes, am I ever jet lagged? Got back uh, yesterday night, Kenji and I. And today has been a day from hell, jet lag wise, and to a certain degree otherwise. Although I'm in a really great mood nonetheless. But my head is chock full of cobwebs. So this is going to be a very cobwebby, very jet lag Friday read. So let's keep it brief, shall we? I'm not going to say any more f f about the wedding, maybe ever, but certainly not today. It was fantastic. Uh, married life is treating me very well so far and enough about my wedding I'm having a dickens of it. Maybe you'd rather hear about the wedding than about the Electronics crises I found myself in today, but I'll try to summarize it briefly so you don't all fall asleep uh, the first thing is my iPad I bought it almost exactly three years ago and because I sat a chair leg down on the old iPad and just basically ruined it, I decided to get the three year warranty on it, which meant that I could buy a replacement, no questions asked, for this iPad up to three times over the three year period for a $40 charge. So that sounded really good to me after I had accidentally sat on the last one. And then I couldn't find the damn receipt because I thought, well, I'll make up a problem or they don't even need a problem, but I will definitely replace this sucker before the warranty runs out. Couldn't find the damn piece of paper. Needed it for my taxes earlier this year, so finally found it. And now that I've moved, I can't find the f clearly marked file folder in which that very important piece of paper resides among all of the unpacked boxes here. But I'm going to find it today or tomorrow morning at the latest because I do remember that that warranty expires at the end of August or early September. Or was it mid-August? Or, or was it early August? I will be so angry <laughs> if, if it's expired by a day or ten days or whatever because I haven't got my act together. So that's number one, and this was supposed to be short. Ugh. The second thing is, and I think some of you have heard me bemoaning this, m these microphone issues of late, but the portable I microphone, I thought it that was cost me $20, worked like a charm for a few months and then stopped working, I replaced it. The new one didn't work any better. I think it's actually the jack in the iPad that is not working well. I think so, but I don't know. Because other issues that I'm having with the iPad are similar. Uh, my charging cord sometimes doesn't work well, and it's using the same, the same plug-in thingy, blah, blah, blah. So, get a new iPad, Sean, while you still have time. And then this morning, because the portable one didn't work, I lugged all of my stuff. I was doing a tag video that required a big bag of books, and I lugged it two blocks, three blocks away to do an outdoor tag because the heat is broken, and I was wide awake in the morning as opposed to now. And the portable mic didn't work at all, and it was windy, and it was just terrible. So I uh, got some exercise, got a little bit of sun, didn't get the video made, although I've since filmed it indoors, sitting at this place. And but then went to try my my Yeti Blue Yeti microphone, the two hundred dollar jobby, and it doesn't work. And I, I I lugged it to Canada, and I used it once there, worked like a charm. But now when I plug it in to my iPad, I get an error message that I have never seen before. It says. This device is using too much power. I rebooted. Uh, anyway, okay, so 
I thought, there's another problem with my iPad plug-in thing. But then I disconnected this and plugged it, just now plugged it into my PC with the USB, same message. So, either I have two microphones that don't work, or an iPad and a mic this big microphone that doesn't work anymore. Anyway, I have some issues. So, I am recording this with no microphone, and I'm just going to amp up the volume in post-production, and that's as good as it's going to get for the foreseeable future. If I can find the warranty, I have to find the warranty, uh, I will go tomorrow morning and hopefully get it all straightened out and maybe be the proud owner of a new, basically free iPad that hopefully the microphones will all work on, or I may have to splurge and get a new microphone as well. Ex uh, uh, a new, you know, expensive one. Because I can't live without it. Okay, enough about that. Six minutes. <laughs> Woo. I was, Kenji and I were awake from about 3 a.m. and he went off to work. Uh, and I've been home all day and I've uh, been getting sleepier and sleepier. So I just woke up from a two, two and a half hour nap about an hour ago. And I just feel like shit. So I haven't even opened the wine yet tonight. What's up with that? So book-wise, this is all I read when I was home at Canada. And I finished it on the plane yesterday and I didn't really like it. I loved how it started, but I thought this was a very unsuccessful novel for yours truly. It's about some girls in on an Australian picnic. They're boarding school girls. Three girls and one teacher disappear going up the mountain, hanging rock. Well, that happens about a th third of the way, a quarter of the way through the novel. And then it's very dramatic when everybody else learns about the disappearance, which goes for another 20 pages. And then there's about 140 or 150 pages of denouement that, to me, was extremely dull. I thought the characters of the girls who disappeared were really well drawn in a few deft strokes and I thought it was a tour de force but then all the characters left over kind of move on with their lives or the way that that is all played out it drags horribly and I didn't really care why they disappeared so no spoilers here we're not really told why but the mystery isn't solved, so it kind of became an, a mystery, which doesn't work for me. The main character, once the young women and one of their teachers had disappeared, was the headmistress. And I thought she was terribly, poorly drawn, not interesting. So, I didn't like it. Three stars. I am in the minority, but didn't care for it too much. But I finished it. And today, I started The Room Upstairs by Monica Dickens, my first Monica Dickens. This is a buddy read with Ange of Beyond the Pages. And I discovered this book through doing the, my BookTube Parasite tag with one of her book haul videos from about 2016 or something. And I've been eager to read it ever since. So we started it today. I'm doing it on Scribd. And I love the writing. I've read... We've read the first three chapters, and each both of us are really enjoying it. It's about an old woman on a farm in Massachusetts, and a highway has divided the farm, so the barn and the yard's on one side and the house is on the other, and she's a widow in her maybe late 70s, and she has a fall and can't stay there alone anymore, and that's as much as I know, and that's as much as you need to know, but the writing... Something about it that reminds me of the Elizabeth Taylor novel. Not only the story about an elderly woman, but but the writing. Yeah, This is my first Monica Dickens, but I'm really stoked. So I'll have more to say about that later. And next week, I will be starting the third of the Muriel Spark in sequence buddy reads. This one is Memento Mori. 
as a buddy read with Memento Mori and a few other illustrious booktubers. So I'm looking forward to starting that. And I am also pumped for the Women in Translation book of uh, readathon, which begins next Friday. And I will hopefully film my TBR video this weekend, but I really want to get my microphone issue sorted, but maybe I won't. So please bear with me as I resolve. Uh, Kenji and I got quite a stash of wedding gift money, but I don't think it's really meant for me to use for my booktube channel. What do you think? <laughs> so I have to figure out a way to get back up and running audiovisually. The, the visual's okay, but uh, anyway, I'm babbling now because my brain is completely fried. It'll be all I can do to edit this and get it on YouTube before I crash. I will do my best. So what's up with you this Friday, reading-wise or otherwise? Are you jet-lagged? Thanks for watching.